In this video, we are going to provide a quick overview of the new Live Boolean feature set that was introduced in 3D Code 2023 as of build 31. What I have here is a model where I want to work with Live Booleans to perhaps create an opening for a cannon. I have a cutting object here in the orange. Let me try and hide some of these volumes so you can see what's going on underneath. Yeah, so I have a cannon that will be exposed once we complete the Boolean operation. So let's first enable Live Booleans by going to the Edit menu in the Preferences panel. We want to go to the Beta section and then check Allow Live Booleans. I'll click OK. Now, one caveat is, as of this recording, it works only in voxel mode. So whatever parent layer and child layer that you're utilizing, they need to be in voxel mode. I have this orange highlighted cutting object, and this is the layer that I will be cutting into. The key thing to remember about live booleans is that the cutting object needs to be a child of the layer that will be subtracted from. To do that, we can come over to the right hand side and just drag it directly over this layer and that will make it a child of that layer. Okay, so I can unhide it. Now, right click over the layer in the sculpture panel and choose in the top section here, Live Subtraction or Intersection. In this case, I'll choose Live Subtraction. All right, so this is our result. You will notice how the shader from the cutting object is applied where the cut is made. We can change that to something else like a metallic shader. Okay, I'll leave it at that. And we can adjust this Boolean just like we would any object. So we can move it around in space. And I will turn wireframe on by hitting the W key. And you can see how insane this is to see live Booleans on such a dense object. Okay, I can scale it as well if I need. So I can go to the Tool Options panel and change what is displayed as far as the gizmos are concerned. So let's go ahead and scale this up a bit. Can move it up in space. So I'll bring it down there and then maybe if we want we can squash it just a bit or skew it. All right, and so that's going to conclude this quick look at live Booleans in 3D Coats Sculpt Workspace. So stay tuned, and we will see you in the next video.